Well, thank you very much. And I'm coming to you from MV Kalangala in Entebbe Municipality Waxo District on a day, of course, when transport remains very key and important in as far as how reopening of schools is concerned. We have heard from taxi bus operators that come on Monday next week when learners will be returning to school, there will be a bit of heightening of uh, prices here. But of course, also over time, we have had interactions with the uh, nation oil distributors that runs this MV Kalanga, when it has also promised that they would get a second ferry that will be taking people to the islands. We have witnessed this from the festive season, given the demand that an island has become another hub of business, recreation. There was a demand, and actually the ferry had to double its you know, trips to the island. But co people continue to demand for these services to make sure that the people on the other side live in the day-to-day -day Uganda. We want to engage the you know, management of nation oil distributors to make us understand why have they taken time. As we speak now, also, we have allegations that uh, the ferry is not in good mechanical conditions, but we want them to make us understand why are they doing this? When is the next ferry coming so that people can have the services, can travel morning, afternoon, evening to the islands when they're doing this business? And I'm joined by the Managing Director for Nation Oil Distributors, Mosoke Sadara. Welcome to NTV. Uh, thank you very much, uh, NTV, uh, for coming in. To, uh, so that you can have an interaction with us. <clears throat> yeah. We have had several engagements with you and you've promised the public that you would have the second ferry taking people to the islands. Why has this become history? You know, ferries, ferries or ships are not the same as cars. Are not the same as cars that you can go in the shop and buy one and bring. But lucky enough, it is already at Port Bell. Yes. Yeah. The second one is we have witnessed the demand of these services to the islands. People now go to the islands for recreation, they go for businesses, mm. and during Christmas or festival season you had to double the you know, trips. Why, why was it only Christmas and does it show you an indication that people need these services? Yes, um, the reason why we normally uh, increase on, uh, the demand on uh, festival season comes in it is known everywhere in transport. But um, um, as far as we are concerned, we know very well that uh, during Christmas or f festive seasons, the demand for transport or for doubling the transport is there. So we have uh, already introduced that system. In Christmas festivals, on uh, festive seasons, we introduce uh, the double, double routes so that we can curb the transport uh, demand and of, of course also to cover the COVID-19 issues. We know that many learners from the islands study from this side of Entebbe given that there are more schools and uh, next week on Monday the uh, taxi and the bus operators say they would a bit hike in the price because there is you know more people to travel. What is MV Kalangala doing? Are we also going to see you uh, put the transport fares up for these people who will be coming? Uh, the, uh, lucky enough, MV Kalangala, all the, this uh, service from min, uh, Minister of Works or government is different from that one which is Rocco. Therefore, uh, for us, we are not hiking, we are not increasing anything. The only issue that comes up is, with us is increasing the routes, I mean the, the return routes so that we can control uh, the, 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 the influx of people that come in. The Minister of Works is urging all transporters that people who do not have vaccination cards who do not prove with evidence that they are vaccinated should not be allowed to board. I'm also seeing MV Kalangala doing this, and there is a forging. How are you going to make sure that you handle that in case you're going to implement it? Um, like you see police doing it, uh, the exercise on the roads. We will be doing it. Uh, we are urging our uh, travelers, our passengers, to at least to have their, 12, I mean, vaccination cards. Therefore, for us, we have not yet put that one into force. But we urge you, please, please, make sure you travel with your uh, vaccination, card. vaccination card. Therefore, if, for us, if we are to implement, we shall t let you know. But we urge you, please have your vaccination card. The original one, there's a way we find, uh, we can uh, 
the organizer and see this one is original, this one is fake, like you said. But we ask you, please, you can move your vaccination card. Yeah. If need be, then we can check it, we can verify it, and then you move. Yeah, because well, it is for the betterment of us and all of you as Ugandans. And, uh, how many people are you carrying? Buses, taxis have returned to full capacity. So how many people are you taking uh, on this ferry? This ferry has got a, a capacity of 162 tons. But the design uh, sometimes pushes us up, up to 100 people only. We so, shall be carrying 100 people only. Uh, as we speak now, NTV has seen one of the letters where your services have been petitioned and actually they're saying the ferry is not into good mechanical condition. That when you took it for service last time, there were things that were not fixed. What do you say about this? And have you seen uh, that petition? Because we have even seen the minister, transport minister, General Katumbo Amala, commenting about it on these allegations. What do you say about them? Like you said, there are allegations. Like you said, it is true, there are allegations. The, the, the ship was serviced properly, and uh, the, 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 the legislators like the Lloyds, is it the Lloyds this time? Yeah, they came, they did the, uh, the verification of what we did, and they said it's okay. It is, this thing is not just like uh, taxis, you see them there, these ones is, 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 is done by uh, an international organization that verifies the authenticity. The perfect, perfectness of the, of the ship is done by an interna international organization. Yeah. Therefore, uh, whoever arranges that it was not done, it was, uh, those are just mere allegations by people who are looking, uh, or maybe who want to bring government down. Any, 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 any project of government uh, is, is, faces uh, uh, politics of that nature, but... Uh, as far as we are concerned, as the National Oil Distributors Limited, the ship is perfect, it was done perfect, and the services were ah. done, and they are mandatory. They are mandatory. The other allegations, not only that, uh, they are alleging that uh, you release the sewage into the lake. What is your take on that? All that one is allegation, as you said, they are allegations. Because if we are to do that, for example, there is a mechanism which we use to treat uh, with uh, calcium chloride and other types of chemicals that we used, so that we treat them, if need be, that we are going to dispose in, in the waters. Well, uh, for time purposes, we will leave it there. But thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Well, Sadara Musoke is the managing director for Nation Oil Distributors that manages MV Kalangala, speaking to us this time on some allegations but also operations done by the uh, ferry to Kalangala. And now morning at 10 TV will return to the studios. Remember, we'll see you pick it away from me.